One of the uh, toxicities that was uh, observed in clinical trials uh, of patients being treated with CD19 CAR T cells had not been anticipated in the murine models which we had performed prior to initiating these trials. And it is something that we named a cytokine release syndrome. This is not a, a you know, unpredictable, unrelated kind of toxicity. It is, even though it had not been apparent in mouse models, it is the direct consequence of massive activation of T cells. The release of cytokines that accompanies a, a strong immune response can cause you know, many symptoms. And for example, if you have the flu or a severe infectious disease, many of your symptoms would be in fact due to the production of cytokines. In the context of CAR therapy, however, due to this massive attack that unfolds in some patients, and especially those patients with high tumor burdens, the levels of these cytokines are such that the patient may require very um, careful management and occasionally transfer to an intensive care unit. Now, this has today been codified and there are regimens that are effective in controlling this CRS, at least in most cases. This explains why the approval of the first CD19 CAR therapies is limited to a number of centers where care can be given in the event of such toxicities. Of course, going forward, what we want to do is to prevent this form of toxicity, but to do that, we need to understand it better. Earlier this year, we reported the first model, the first murine model of CAR toxicity based on cytokine release, called the CRS. And one of the first uh, surprises that emerged from this model is that some of the key cytokines that mediate this toxicity, this syndrome, are not produced by the T cells themselves, not the CAR T cells, but rather myeloid cells, in particular macrophages that are in the patient's tumor. So this certainly advances our understanding of this syndrome and will, I hope, lead to novel interventions that not only reduce the severity, not only treat, but actually prevent the occurrence of CRS.